Jeez. And you crack my gate, dead. Nice. The time is finally here. Aquaman is here in Fortnite. Welcome to Fortnite 2020, everybody. Right, what about a suicide trick shot off the tree? Ooh. Well, jeez. Oh, it's oh. Him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I thought I was going to throw that so hard. Let's go, baby. And goodbye. Let's go. That's it. This is our last inventory. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Surely, that's it. Let's go. Oh, that's so epic. Nope, we're detected. All right. Oh, I can't really shoot, so. Oh, dude. I don't want to talk about it. Fortnite Season 3 in review. As you guys know, we got Season 4 coming later today. So I thought we'd go ahead, watch back a little bit of a montage on Season 3, everything we did, and then give it a score out of 10. If you guys are going to enjoy, make sure to leave a like rating down below. And of course, if you guys are picking up the Battle Pass for Season 4 and want to support me as a creator, make sure to use code LOCKY when you're doing so. Let's jump into it. All right, so before we start with this season, obviously we got to talk about the flood at the end of the last season, which kind of had this build up. Obviously, I didn't get to see the event, so I'm kind of sad about that. But it was really cool, and I kind of include that in the season because the build up is kind of what makes the season. I think this is one of the best build ups we've ever had to a season. So I'm gonna start off and say, you know, it was looking good at the start. What? Then we're going to the battle pass, the skins this season, the umbrella. I have yet to customize my umbrella. I should probably do that. Cars, epic. We love the cars. At first, I didn't love the cars, but I, I love the cars now. Captain America, all right? One of the best skins and obviously foreshadowing the next season. As you guys know, Marvel taking a big step into the season. So uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how Thor plays that out. His hammer's in Salty Springs right now, but... Uh, yeah, I'm really not sure how that's going to play out. A lot of people are kind of skeptical of this whole uh, third season in a row of a comic book kind of collab. But this one looks like more so uh, Marvel being directly involved with the season instead of just being a skin that you get with a secret battle pass. So I'm personally super excited for this and I suppose we're all going to see how it works tomorrow speaking about brands with epic uh apple versus epic interesting kind of battle that formed at the end of the season i'm gonna cover i'm covering it all um i want to say 10 out of 10 from epic on the advert thing that thing was super sick i liked that i liked that a lot i don't know too much legality wise on what's going on but all i know is that they made a sick advert and uh i also want a hat so pretty good speaking about mobile Fortnite, uh we had the big samsung galaxy promotion i actually somehow placed on the oc one playing on a literal touch screen Fortnite phone we got it done we got the galaxy skin for free and uh definitely one of the best skins we've had in a hot minute and also we can't forget shout out oneplus for the sick oneplus phone and of course the bangra boogie emote which came out this season uh first kind of emote to come out with a phone which is quite interesting i like free stuff hello bangra boogie for my boy i love it because like they're watching spectate and they've never seen the emote before as far as the skins go this season i made a quick little tier list let me know what you guys think leave a comment down below so for the last two seasons of fortnite we've gotten some mythic guns and every season they're different i'm excited to see what we get next season let's talk about this season first off let's start with jules drum gun uh it's actually a worse version of Midas's drum gun so for that reason I don't rate it that much uh like an AR or P90 is better than this drum gun however she does also come with the glider gun which if you guys never played the Batman collab uh it's pretty much the same thing but it's infinite with the glider and all that kind of stuff uh super cool I rate changing it up and stuff like that but drum gun being worse than Midas drum gun I don't like that. Next up, we got Kit's Charged Shotgun. Uh, I don't like the Charged Shotgun that much this season. Obviously, that was a big change that we had. Um, and I'm still getting used to it. I really kind of fingers crossed that we're going to get some pump shotguns back next season. Like Mythic Pump Shotgun. Run it up. Let's do it. But definitely the coolest Mythic we had this season has got to be Kit's Shockwave Grenade. Such a cool idea um, of changing like the grenade launcher, which has been in the game for a while, and then making it shoot shockwave grenades. I love that. The awesome clips you can hit, 
bullying kids out of zone with it and making them stay out in zone and dying. Just super cool mythic gun. One of my favorites that we've had so far in Fortnite. And then heading over to Fortilla, we got Ocean's Mythic Org. Uh, I love the Org this season. I didn't rate it too much when it was a three round burst, but the two round burst just felt really cool and just super accurate. And this gun specifically was like a laser. I was shooting kids out of the air all day with it. And then she also had the Chug Jug as well. Bottomless Chug Jug. Who doesn't like that? I had three mythic bosses this season, but I pretty much loved all the mythics. They all had their own things to provide. Um, apart from the drum gun, that one kind of an L. It'll be interesting to see what they do with the mythics next season. We might even see the mythics from the Avengers game mode come back, like Captain America's shield, the bow, Iron Man's gloves. We'll see. Is Thanos come back, please? Okay, so at the start of the season, we got Marauders, and uh, a lot of people have mixed opinion about these bad boys. Sometimes you're having a build fight with someone, and then that stink bomb Marauder throws the stink bomb at you, and you're really not loving Marauders right now. But I actually kind of liked how they were added into the game. They were like, this new like kind of uh, AI that would just randomly drop on you. Yes, they do get annoying when you're fighting someone, but I kind of like the Marauders. They had specific loot that you had to get from them. I, I kind of like that whole idea. Let's see what they do with them next season. Maybe they'll return, maybe they won't. I kind of like Marauders. Alrighty, first content update, I think of the season. Fireflies. Oh, we haven't had something this useless since Bottle Rockets, man. These, I, I forgot to do these in my tier list video, but they did nothing for the game this season. And I think everyone can agree upon that. I'd be surprised if we see them next season. I give them a ball rocket out of 10. They were very useless this season. Brand new consumables in season three. You guys know the num boxes were out all around the map. We had the chilies. Now chilies get a 10 from me. Everyone loves chilies. You gotta go fast. Everyone, everyone loves chilies. And everything else out of the Nobs box was also two great. Slurp mushrooms were cool, but uh, it was all about the chilies. Hopefully next season we'll get a part on the map where you can actually collect the chilies instead of hoping the Nom box has them. But speaking about mushrooms, whatever happened to Lil Mush? <laughs> Lil Mush did not come out in season three, which makes me think that Epic definitely did an oopsie at the end of season three. Uh, but that's okay though, because we got an exclusive banger on the channel. So I I I'll take that. I'd love to see him back. Epic, can we get a little mush? And then on one of the update nights, we got these bad boys, and I thought these were gonna be the pets, but you just give them wood and they build a colony, and that was kind of it yeah, with these guys, so. I think pretty much the only new weapon we got, the flare gun. Dude, this was such a cool gun. I love just how unique the mechanic is of it just like highlighting players. I think it'd be a bit overpowered and competitive, but uh, for pubs, absolutely love the flare gun. Super cool gun. I gave it a 10 for like create, like they're running out of things to do, you'd think, but you get stuff like a flare gun, you're like, maybe they aren't running out of things to do. So I love the flare gun, uh, except on update night when I couldn't find it and spent six hours looking for it. Still no flare gun. That I didn't rate too much. Alrighty, sharks, my boy Bruce. As an actual like vehicle using them, they, they weren't very effective. They were kind of glitchy a little bit. I personally loved the clips of the competitive players getting trolled like in their comps and stuff. And of course we hosted that shark only tournament and that was actually a lot of fun. So I'm, I'm gonna rate the sharks overall like a nine or an eight. I, I reckon they were pretty fun, but for competitive players, yeah, special F in the chat for you guys. So in season three, we actually got split cups for the trios. We got contender cups and champion cups. If you didn't reach champion rank, you could play contender cups. And we actually, spoiler alert, went on to actually place in one of them. It was super fun playing it. I just wish there was a better way to enforce uh, the Smurfers because every time we were dying to defaults that were champion ranks on Smurfs, I don't really know how they're gonna fix that, but it was really fun playing a competitive tournament where for the most part, players were around my skill level. But I also played with two pros who didn't rank up the champion, so. It is what it is. Definitely one of the highlights for me this season was hosting my own Trios Cup within Fortnite. If you guys don't know, I hosted the Cup in NA and in OCE, and it was a ton of fun. There was like a $10,000 prize pool behind both. Hopefully something Fortnite continues to do in the next season, working with creators to create tournaments, because this one was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, hopefully more to come. Alrighty, special shout out to our new POI, Carl. I'm actually gonna not rate this one highly at all, because this was meant to be the big Aquaman Atlantis and there was no official Atlantis kind of like branding behind it at all. What is this place? Where's my mythic trident? Where are my different floppers? Where is my content? Like, 
I sound a little bit spoiled, but that just doesn't do anything anymore. Like, does anyone drop here anymore? Because I personally haven't dropped since that day. I'm gonna rate it kind of low. I want my Trident and that one shots kids, and I didn't get it, so I'm not happy. But the Carl name was, I like the Carl name. That was probably the best part about it. I think the strongest point we had for this season was the LTM selection. Normally for summer, they throw some banger LTMs at us. And honestly, Fortnite, they delivered. Uh, the gun game, the new mythic version was awesome. The rags to riches, insane LTM. Absolutely loved it. Probably one of my favorites. Uh, even just having the classics like solid gold come back with some of the on-vault guns, like combat shotguns, a lot of dubs few L's, a lot of the knockout ones where they had the leaderboard type stuff. I don't have time for that. They just, the people leave and they ruin your squad. I, I, I don't rate those very high. They're kind of like on the spy games level for me. LTM selection overall, I give like an eight or a nine. Uh, probably just again, there's uh, kind of knockout ones that kind of brought it down. But I think everyone can say LTMs this season were on fire. Definitely the biggest update to the season, cars, uh, which was conveniently delayed to the same day as uh, the new Call of Duty season. Very convenient. But all in all, cars was pretty solid. One of the kind of underrated features with the cars is obviously the radio, being able to listen to just like Drake while skirting. Kind of gives that like GTA vibe. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really do that as a content creator because I always get copyright striked. But I can really appreciate that from just a normal player's perspective. You know, you're just driving in your Lambo, you got Juice World going. That is really dope. On day one, that was a little annoying getting run over all the time. But uh, cars? sizable nine to ten dub nine and a half i, I like cars and uh yeah i think we touched on pretty much everything that happened in the brand new season let me know what you guys think down below uh, if i had to give this uh, overall season a rating out of 10 i would say a strong eight you know your firefly jars and your somewhat inconsistent update weeks bringing you down a little bit but overall skins were fire uh most of the content updates were fire except firefly jaws which were kind of technically fire but they weren't fire and yeah i'm super excited to see what we get in season four i can tell fortnite is going big on this one with their marvel collab so i will see you guys on that brand new season four update we're probably going to hit it up with a battle pass video which by the way if you are picking up the battle pass and want to support me as a creator that's going to be code locky in the fortnite item shop hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you all tomorrow peace guys